for the sign of Cancer. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Cancer, the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with, well, we got the Seven of Cups. Ends with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so Seven of Cups is, is telling me that for some of you, you felt like you were dealing with a person that kept the door open. They had other options. And it caused confusion. And you were just ready to cut this person out and go towards someone new or just a new beginning. Yeah, they kept the door open. They maybe dealt with a lot of other people. Let's look at all those choices in that cup. Yeah, there's a oh, there's a lot of things going on. You you could have just been dealing with someone who had a lot going on. Seven of Cups, the card above the word pass. Yeah, Cancer, you cut this person out, and you're ready to move on to someone new, or you're ready for a new beginning with the Ace of Swords here. So let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Knight of Swords and it's with the Seven of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, it brings a fairly upbeat and cheerful type of energy. So can't see this person who you cut out. It looks like they could be trying to make a return or trying to come back into your life because the Knight of Swords plans, they, they plan and they take action. It can be very impulsive. So you could be hearing from this person, but you feel like with the Seven of Swords here, the card below the word present, you feel like they're too sneaky for you. Seven of Swords can be about mind games, manipulation, using strategy and tactics. Yeah, but don't be surprised, Cancer, if you hear from this person, because the Nine of Swords... It's indicating that they could be trying to reach out to you. Because the Knight of Swords can be a message bearer. They got something to say. But yeah, you don't like that they had options. You already cut them out. Now here they come. You feel like they're just too, too darn manipulative. Just sneaky. So, let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We got the Four of Swords. And it's with the Seven of Wands. Now, the Four of Swords, it can be about rest after struggle. It can be about no communication. Yeah, you don't want to talk to this person. Yeah. You just want rest after dealing with them. But it's it's indicating, because it's with the Seven of Wands, it's, it's indicating that they, they're still in this to win it for some reason. I don't know. They could, or you could feel like they're still in it because they are reaching out to you. Or they will be. But you're not, you're not down with all this mind games that they play, all this manipulation and the strategy and the tactics that they use. You're not all about that life. You just want rest. Four of Swords, the card above the word challenge. You want rest from this person. Four of Swords, rest after struggle. You just want to retreat. You want some solitude now. And you don't want to communicate with this person. Four of Swords can be about no communication. But they, they'll be reaching out to you if you're wondering. So we move on over and we take a look and see what the outcome is. So we got the Wheel of Fortune and it's with the King of Wands. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is actually really good. Cancer. The Wheel of Fortune. It's actually a card that reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. And if all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else changes. You just have to remember to live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But that's okay. Just roll with the changes. Yeah, so 
the outcome cancer it's look like is it, it's looking like you could be feeling you would have better luck elsewhere or you could know someone the king of wands is below the word outcome you could know someone that you feel you would have better luck with because the wheel of fortune is about a turning point um, it can be about fortune being in your favor it can be about good luck so good luck is in your favor now and you could be feeling it or you just feel like you have better luck elsewhere and there could be someone like this King of Wands um, that you could be thinking about or someone could be thinking about coming towards you. The King of Wands, this could be someone new or someone that you already know. For some of you, it's someone that you already know because the King of Wands can be about someone that um, has caring and protective feelings for you. Maybe this is someone new. And if it is or if it's not, this person will... Um, feel this way about you yeah it's a very protective type of, of energy this king of wands very positive so you got someone good coming towards you they want to protect you they want to protect the connection and this person will care about you very the um, king of wands is very much so about like I said protective and caring feelings or maybe a lot of you know that there are men around you who are supportive of you and think well of you. You also get that with the King of Wands. So like I said, someone is coming in. King of Wands is here. Someone good. This person will be willing to work hard if necessary just to make the relationship work. And you... It's going to make you feel lucky or you're feeling that you'll have better luck elsewhere other than with this person that you had been dealing with who kept the door open. They had other options and their behavior was just so sneaky and manipulative. So something good is coming in. Cancer, you got the will of fortune. So good for you. So, Cancer, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Cancer reading just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Cancer... I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.